hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in this session we will see how to create additional uh, EPS volume which is hard drive uh, for the Windows uh, machine okay in the uh, in the earlier session we have seen for the Linux machine okay how to create the additional uh, EPS volume and how to mount it and how to make it permanent okay so <coughs> today we will cover for the Windows uh, server okay so I have already created the uh, Windows server here okay so basically first understand when we required the additional drive in the re real time project okay let's say you have a windows server and you have 30 gb by default storage and due to some <coughs> heavy logs or the valid logs basically or sometimes valid data the disk space getting uh, full okay obviously in that situation uh, <coughs> we can increase the disk space but uh, there might be a one more uh, you know the additional requirements like we need to store the data to another drive okay uh, instead of uh, storing on the same uh, default drive like C drive okay so there might be a different different use cases like uh, if someone want to keep the data additional drive instead of C drive okay so in that situation uh, we need to create the additional drive okay so uh, let's say if you have a if you are using a Windows uh, machine for the mysql uh, database server or a, or any uh, let's say msql database server so in that situation you might get the requirements like uh, store the database data to the additional drive okay not the default one okay so there as i said there might be different use cases and the requirements so in that situation we need additional drive okay so let's uh, today we will understand how to create the additional drive abs volume and how to attach okay let's get started so i have already created the, created the win, one windows server okay so first let me show you we have uh, how many drive okay obviously we can uh, check from here as well the storage okay as as uh, you can see now now the default one is 30 gb okay so we will log into the server first and we will see okay before creating the ebs volume and attaching just to confirm so you can just simply press if you are using a windows machine okay then you can simply uh, press your uh, windows button over there and just type rdp okay to take the remote desktop connection okay to connect the linux server uh, sorry windows server then we need to copy the ip address from here and paste it okay but before that we need to fetch the credentials for the windows server right so how to fetch it just go to the action button uh, inside the security get windows password okay for that you need uh, your private key file okay just upload the private key file so i have uh, <coughs> already created created the up private file okay just import it and just click on decrypt password you will get the password here okay just copy it and just try to connect this the windows server it will ask confirmation and then we need to enter the username and password here okay as you know windows default username is a administrator right and then paste the password here so it will ask for the as a certificate basically then we can simply connect to the our windows machine okay now we will check the uh, default hard drive here in AWS language we will normally see EBS volume okay elastic block storage and in the traditional way we will see uh, we normally explain the, like you know the hard drive It will take a little bit, uh, you know, some time to initialize this uh, desktop once we created the Windows Server. Okay, so now our Windows Server is up, okay, and uh, stable. So simply click on this folder, folder icon, okay. Then it we can see. Just click on this PC, okay. As of now, you can see there are just default hard drive, right? EPS volume 30 GB. So now let's go to the AWS console and create one more drive, okay? This 
before creating the EBS uh, EBS volume just make sure your Windows server available in which availability zones okay when you created you know the Windows server just confirm first uh, it's in uh, uh, which availability zones as of now you can see it's in AP South 1A okay so hard drive should be in EBS uh, sorry e app South 1A okay so how we can create the additional EBS volume just click just a little bit scroll down okay in the EBS you know elastic block store you will see the options volumes okay just simply click on that then these are the uh, my existing EC2 server hard drive okay so just click on simply create EBS uh, create volume then you can choose the EBS volume type here and the size you required so let's create 10 GB for the additional drive okay then here this is the main uh, settings here okay availability zones south a <coughs> one a okay let's say if you created by mistakely in one b okay so le let's try to create it and just create volume okay so 10 gb volume has been created now i am just trying to attach it to my server okay just click on that and from the action button attach volume okay then just scroll down and search the instance here okay as you as you can see there are no instance running okay because we have created the EBS volume in the different availability zones okay so just to note uh, on this part just avoid this kind of mistakes okay so let me delete this one now we will create EBS volume in proper availability zones okay 10 GB here you need to select proper availability zones okay where you have created the ec2 ser ec2 server this i am just selecting ebs uh, app south 1a okay and then simply create the volume so 10 gb volume has been created okay just click on that again and click on action and okay let me refresh it click on action and attach volume okay now just click on the instance button now you will see right uh, whatever you have uh, created the EC2 instance as of now you will see here in the list okay so <coughs> select proper instance where you want to attach the EBS volume okay so I have the <coughs> naming convention test windows EC2 it's a running mode okay just simply click on that and simply attach it okay now if you want to verify from the console just click on the windows server okay and click on storage here a little bit scroll down and just refresh this window again select on the, the server windows server click on the storage little bit scroll down okay you will see here the additional drive you know, 10 gb earlier we have uh, created with the 30 gb for the ec2 instance so now <coughs> another uh, hard drive which is additional 10 gb and you can see the status here right attached okay now go to the windows server and verify okay as of now you can see the additional drive we have created and attached from the aws console but it's not still showing in the windows server okay why because we need to mount it uh, format and mount it okay as we have seen in the linux okay so where we can go with that just simply search here computer management okay open computer management and from there you, we can go to the disk management and we can simply format and mount it okay as an additional drive so from the left side you can see the disk management option here okay and you will see here the additional drive 10 GB it's not online state it's in offline state okay and you can see the status unallocated okay simply click on that also you can uh, verify from here as of now we have only C drive okay which is 30 GB capacity so simply click on that make it online okay not initialize okay and you can simply 
initialize the disk here okay and simply click on MDR partition as of now you can see the disk has been the status has been changed to online okay now it's still showing the unallocated okay let's simply uh, right click on that and click on new simple volume you can just simply follow this wizard okay there are uh, multiple options you can <coughs> use that if you want to mount the following empty to ntfs folder or any do not assign a drive letter or a drive path okay so i will just simply go with the default one which is the it will you know it can give the additional drive name here okay it will detect automatically with the du okay let's say i want to change to h or something and simply click next okay it will format the the base volume you can see it's a formatting formatted has been completed and formatting completed and it's coming and drive has been attached successfully okay now you can simply go to the our folder i mean the my computer and we can simply see here okay the additional volume has been successfully mounted if you just click on that and we can simply use as normal use case okay we can create the folders here or we can create the files okay so this way we can simply attach create the additional ebs volume and format it and mount it on the windows server okay okay that's all for the today's session if you have any uh, questions or doubts you can simply use comment box to ask okay i will try to answer yeah thank you